Supreme Rising Soldiers. How are we doing? I hope you all are in good spirits on this beautiful rising. You see, I just wanted to come at you all really quickly and just remind you that you are on the right track. And I would also like to ask, doesn't it feel beautiful and doesn't it feel serene? And aren't you happy to be on this path, this path of righteousness? You see, this is what you have been called to do all along, to get on a path of righteousness, all right? To get on a path of being unbreakable, unbendable, unfoldable, all right? Unstoppable, all right? You all have waited all of your life to unleash the power that you already knew that was always inside of you. And here you are today, you little powerful little something you. <laughs> Here you are today, being all powerful and whatnot, being all magical, being fearless, doing what has never been done before, walking the paths that are least traveled, okay, taking those leaps of faith towards something great, all right, that's you, that is what you all are doing, and I don't want you all to ever for a second get discouraged or feel as though you can't move forward because you can. If you ever have to, retreat. Go into hermit mode. All right? Go within yourself and get to the root cause. You never want nothing or no one getting in the way of your destiny because you are certainly walking in your destiny every single day. I don't say this from a judgmental standpoint, but it's funny. I want to share this with you guys. Or not a judgmental standpoint. I didn't mean to say that. Excuse me. I don't mean to say, say this from an egotistical standpoint, but it is time that we really and truly, for those of you who are still struggling with this, really and truly walk in your power because these people know and they see who you are and they are absolutely enamored your light a lot of people are highly enthused some are very inspired while others you already know what category they fall in they don't matter anyways they never have in fact and so the whole point that i'm trying to make is um oh you know this is what i was going to tell you guys so actually i was in 7-eleven i was in 7-eleven this is like two days ago i'm in 7-eleven <clears throat> And I walk in, and the cashier, I'm walking in, and of course I'm in there. Obviously, I have the (laughs) intentions on going in and getting whatever it is that I wanted to get, whatever items that I was going in there to get. And she's like, well, how can I help you? As if, but the way she said it, she said it as if, like as soon as I got in there, she just looked at me. And she paused, and she was like stuck for a minute. And she just looked at me like, how can I help you? Like, how can I help you? Like, is there anything that I can do for you? And I was just looking like, you know, I was doing one of those because I'm just like, um, I'm obviously in here because, you know, I'm going to purchase some things. But if you'd like to go and grab those things for me and I'll just wait here and wait to pay, then hey, you know, I'm just playing. (laughs) But yeah, they know who we are. No matter where I go, I can be dressed down, dressed up. I can be in the most questionable areas. And I can still walk through and get the world of respect. People are moving out of my way, you know. And I'm not saying that in an egotistical way as well. I know that for some that may come off that way. But you guys have to understand when they seen Jesus coming, they got the heck out of the way. And that is the same energy that you all need to possess because that is the same energy that you all have. And that is certainly what I've been seeing and coming to realize to be true. All right. When Jesus was coming, that lady, she broke her neck to touch that that hem of his garment so that she could receive some healing. They break their necks to to look at us and to see what it is that we are up to. They break our necks to get a whiff of our energy to get close to us. Anyone, whether present, past, or even now, that, I've, that I have 
the opportunity because it's truly a pleasure, okay? And it's truly an opportunity, but anyone who has had the, the pleasure of being in your presence, whether here in the past, the present, or here in the future, take word resonates, you already know, for those of y'all who is truly awake, you already know this time here is fluid. Time is just merely an illusion. But anyone who has had the just the bountiful opportunity to be around you, to be in your space, to be in your presence, and they fumbled you, they ought to be ashamed of themselves, first off. Because they don't realize you have people, damn, they're crashing their cars when you come into view. You got people breaking their necks, you know. And again, I'm saying that from a, a you know, a, a, a humble standpoint, truly. You know, I'm not a cocky person. I'm very confident, though, because it took me a long time to build this. I've always been, you know, beautiful inside and out. I've always had a beautiful heart more than anything. And I think that is why people gravitate towards me. I don't too much care about my outer appearance. I'm not saying that as if I don't take care of myself. Of course, I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to be at my best always. But the point I am making is it's our energy family. It's our spirit. It has nothing to do with our outer appearance, although that is extra. You know, that's a plus. But for the most part, for the most part, people are attracted and gravitating to our spirit. You know, the light that is inside of us. So that was just a quick message, you all. I need to go and grab some stuff out of the 99 cent store. But um, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I should have came on here though when it happened because like as soon as I walked in that store and she was like can I help you like what, what can I do for you like no one has ever done that to me before if I go into Walmart ain't no cashier gonna come up to me and ask what can I do for you so that was really weird that she would do that but it's because they see you they know who you are chosen one they see the god in you all right they see the goddess in you they see the power the light the beauty the joy the harmony the peace all right the contentment shall i go on they see it in you all right well it is windy as heck i don't want this wind messing up the message why did i just put the phone that close to my face i'm y'all i'm annoying like i'm real life annoying you guys if y'all knew me in real life i'm goofy as heck i'm annoying like <laughs> i just do like goofy stuff but yeah